in this game is made by the same person who made the Night Killer game that I played a bit ago, and I didn't hate that, so I thought I would give this a try. I think we are playing as a night shift employee of a camp and we're supposed to just be making sure that everything's fine at the camp. That's it. Well, one more day taking care of the camp. This place is driving me crazy. I'm afraid that the same thing will happen to me as it did to them. What was that thing that happened to them? I feel like I should know what that thing is because I'm the one that has to deal with it now. It's also a very awkwardly quiet game so if you hear like any weird background noises it's probably just my cat doing something. Anything here? Do I have a flashlight? I don't. Oh it says I have to investigate the place in the corner. Okay. Can I run? I can't run either. Okay, this is gonna take a while to explore the camp since this is our speed. Actually, let's look at these flyers, posters. Some missing people. Is this what he's worried about happening to him? Are these like past night shift camp people who went missing and he thinks that's gonna be him next? I don't know. I'm actually not even sure if my character is a him, but I'm assuming anyway. It seems like it's just the same two people looped. All right, let's uh, check out this only lighted up place. Okay, there's nothing in here. We just spent like 10 minutes walking here at the extremely slow pace we're walking for nothing, for nothing to be in this cabin. Oh, actually, wait, never mind. It continues. Okay, good. Get a flashlight. Oh, how convenient. There's one right here. If I work here, why didn't I know I needed to come bring a flashlight already, actually? That seems irresponsible of me. I'm trying to grab this flashlight. This is kind of hard. How close do I need to be to grab it? I can't even like... This is the lowest I can like look down so I can't even look direct- Oh, there we go. I, I just miraculously grabbed it. I don't know. This kind of looks like I can bust through it. Well, it looks like someone else already busted through it, but I don't know if that's something to be concerned about. But we're gonna go investigate the rest of the camp now that we have this. Can we toggle it? Toggle? No. Alright, this is a very sparse set camp, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure why I even have to watch for the camp, because it's clearly not in use. But okay. Alright, now that we have this... Okay, there's a building over there, let's go uh, look at that. Don't know if I can open it, it looks like it can't be open to be honest with you. Alright. Uh, I'll look in the windows, you know? Is there a back door? Probably not. Oh, I can't go back there? Okay. Invisible wall. Sure wish I could move faster. But maybe us moving this slow, while also not even being able to run with shift, means that nothing will chase us at any point. Which means we're safe. I'd like to think that. Okay, we can't open this either. I feel like we're kind of running out of options here. Oh, get a rake. Oh god, I didn't even notice the fucking objective in the corner. How long has that been there? I'm sure it's been there since I grabbed the flashlight. Alright, let me walk all the way back over here real slowly. I don't know what the hell I need the rake for. Do I think I'm about to rake up a bunch of leaves that night? I don't think so. That's not my job. Is it like my weapon? Let's grab, grab this. How, how does one grab the rake? Just like with the flashlight I am having. Okay, there we go. Clean- what? What dirt? There's a lot of dirt out there. You can't expect me to clean every single dirt. That doesn't make sense. I don't know what they mean by this. I'm hearing a noise. Someone is walking and that is not me. I don't know what dirt they want me to clean though, like... What are they talking about? Let me just come back in here real quick. Let me just see if there's like... Maybe some dirt in this back room. No? Okay, cool. 
I'm just really nervous now that I know that someone's out there. Why else would someone be at this abandoned campground, you know? They must be a murderer. Oh shit, the game is called something killer, like the camp killer, so I feel like we might be in danger now. Alright, um, maybe... Did I go over there? Let me go see what's over there real quick. Oh wait, does this, does this count as dirt to clean up? That's real stupid, but I'll do it. I'll clean up this dirt. I did it. I just blank screen while I do this. Okay, cool. All right, my rake is gone, which is unfortunate. Oh shit, what's this? Um, I I don't know. I can't pick it up and stuff, you know. I I have no idea what to make of that. Um. Because in the previous game, there wasn't like a note that was tossed on the ground that I couldn't pick up, but I could read clearly looking down at it. But this, I cannot. Kind of almost looks like it has a timer on it in the middle, which doesn't make any sense, but I don't have any objective right now either. Okay, let me just try to <laughs> interact with this. Like, it's kind of hard to like really touch it properly because of the game controls being hella rough. Um, we're just gonna ignore it, I guess. I guess it's not anything important if we can't interact with it, right? All right, the only thing left to look at, I feel like, is this, the bonfire. Well, I guess I could try going in there, but I don't think I can. All right, so this looks normal, I guess. All right, I still have no objective. And as I was saying before I got startled by the thing on the ground, I, I don't have my rake anymore. Which is too bad because it was the only thing that resembled a potential weapon. I feel like I must have to interact with this- oh sh- oh I didn't see that. What is that? Is that a person? Hey, are you the camp killer? You seem polite. Um, okay. So they were just a ghost, no problem. Sometimes these campgrounds are haunted. That's fine. I don't think they're the killer. Maybe they're a victim of the killer. Uh, so what? Why is my object- is am I reading that right? I don't know if I'm reading that objective right. Because it kind of looks like it's a suicide, right? Am I supposed to suicide myself now because I'm startled by the ghost that hard? I, I don't understand. Or am I just like interpreting that wrong because it is in kind of blocky blurry text so maybe I'm just not reading it right I'd like to think. Uh, it almost looks like it could maybe say slide or slice instead. Maybe? I don't know, wishful thinking. Um, I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go back to the bond- oh sh- oh, oh no, I think it did say what I originally thought it said. I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? For why? I'm gonna go do something else besides that. Okay, I didn't try going into this cabin, so I'm just gonna try that real quick. I don't- I mean, maybe I did try, but let me try again, I guess. And if that doesn't work, then yeah, I guess I'll go grab the gun and hopefully do something that isn't uh, that in the corner. I'm just hoping that there's anything else I can do. I know this game said also on the uh, game page that there is only one ending. So usually in this situation I would think, okay, that's the bad ending if I grab the gun, but there's probably a way to get out of this situation, but since they did confirm already that there's only one ending, I kind of have to go do this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Super sad. Maybe I'm the killer and that's why I'm gonna do this, because I just feel so guilty and that was a ghost of one of my victims haunting me. Maybe. But... He did say in the beginning that he didn't want what happened to other people who worked here to happen to him, which implies he is not the killer, but uh, 
Let's let's see. Okay. We're looking at it. Let's not put it here. This isn't the spot. Okay. I had no control over that. Another suicide. Oh no. You what? <laughs> oh, okay. Working at night in a camp paranormal things, the same routine every day without resting until four in the morning, resting only five hours. What do you think of the missing people from the forest who worked here? You just became one of them. She was just warning you. She was just warning you not to do the same thing she- I- Why didn't I listen? I was trying not to do the thing. Oh, the game just closed itself after that. Well. Well. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't a great game. Okay? I'm just gonna say that. Alright? But, you know, it, it was a thinker. It made us think. How about that? That's the positive I can give it. So, yeah. So, really, it, it's kind of, like, open-ended, the ending, you know, if you want to pretend if that it's deep. You know, because now we don't know if the ghosts actually made us kill ourselves or if uh, all these, like, five, ten people in a row that killed themselves really just did because work sucks. Because maybe, maybe they did. Maybe it wasn't paranormal at all, after all. People are just really tired. So, yeah. Uh, bye. Thanks for watching.